speaks faithful Lakers Nation, coming with news for you, but first subscribe to the channel. While the Los Angeles Lakers have yet to make a trade since the start of the regular season, they have been perhaps the most active team in the NBA when it comes to rumors. It seems that almost every player on the list except for LeBron James had their names published in a commercial scam. But one thing has remained consistent throughout all the noise. The Lakers will not trade their 2027 and 2029 first-round picks unless the return is significant enough to put them in contention for the championship. And in a new wrinkle to that caveat, the Lakers are looking for deals that improve their fortunes over multiple years, not just the 2022-23 campaign, according to ESPN's Dave McMenamin. If the right deal comes along that makes them, in their eyes, a better team over the next three years, that's their priority. They want the team to be at its best while LeBron James is still on the roster. But if that means not doing that deal in February and playing the rest of this season with the group they have and knowing that they think there's going to be a better deal in July in the offseason, they'll do that. Enjoy leave your like and turn on the notification bell and stay on top of the Lakers world. The Lakers are said to be just looking for deals that will improve them over the next three seasons, which almost contradicts previous reports that the team doesn't want long-term cash. Of course, there are ways to improve the team's next three years without necessarily accepting multi-year contracts. For example, the famous exchange of Buddy Heald and Miles Turner for Russell Westbrook involves only an expiring contract and a two-year deal. But the Lakers would have the rights to both players, meaning they could re-sign them to multi-year deals that would allow them to exceed the salary cap once they become free agents. They could also face DeMar DeRozan, who is guaranteed a contract until next season, when the Lakers will return rights to Bird. It looks like the Lakers are once again changing what they look for in a potential mega deal during the season. Importantly, it looks like they're willing to let this team through the season and regroup in the offseason when they pick up another tradable first-round pick and have nearly $30 million in cap space. Nation comment below on the Lakers' current situation as it comes to trades at the moment. Remembering your opinion is very important.